Hey everyone, it's ChrisleyNaturalGames.com here to do some Minecraft paper crafts. So these are little Minecraft paper crafts we bought. These are this is the animal mob set, which comes with three ocelots, three pigs, three cows, three chickens, three sheep, 10 grass blocks, and 10 stickers. There's a lot of stuff in here, so let's get crafting. That is a surprisingly simple way to open this box. I congratulate myself for being able to open it, because it's not super duper simple though, like open a box like a normal human being. Oh, there's so more. Whoa, there's lots of stuff in here. Get out of there. Okay, that's everything. Take a look at this. Yep, that's everything. Let's lay everything out and see what we got. Ooh, these seem like they're going to be bigger than I expected, actually. They seem quite large. I, I thought they would just be like little tiny paper crafts like you used to make, which I would print off the internet. And they were really small, and they were... I had a big one, and the mobs are smaller than the blocks, of course. Good thing is, I believe there's nothing missing. So we got three pigs, three cows, three chickens, and three ocelots. And three sheep. Of course, I almost forgot about the sheep. And some instructions and stickers. And of course, all these grass blocks. So now, let's craft one. Ooh. These are really simple little punch out which are not what I used to do is because I would always mess up on paper crafts because I couldn't cut them correctly. But these are, you can punch out and make it a lot easier on my side because I'm very bad at cutting. So here's what it looks like when it's done. I've done quite a few block paper crafts and they all look the same. They're bigger than I thought they were, but they're super cool. I really like them and they're really easy to fold because they come with tabs and swats so there's no gluing, gluing required. It's all really nice and really clean. So this is what you should get when you're done. If it looks different, you probably did it wrong. So let's do one here. So I'm gonna do one on camera just to show you how it works. So obviously the first thing you do with paper craft is you fold in the tabs because every paper craft you have to fold in the tabs first and if you don't it just turns out looking really messy and ugly so I don't recommend not folding the tabs in. And next you fold the top kind of over a little bit and there are slots on each side that you put these little tabs in so you just gotta slide them all in. They're super easy, come out with a really clean finish. They're kind, they're kind of a bit hard and confusing your first try around, but the rest of time, the rest of the times they come out really clean, and they're really simple and take no time to do. So they're really nice, and I just like you to know that there are a lot, lot, lot of other sets. So I'm thinking about making, like, getting the other sets and kind of making a Minecraft area in my room, and I could maybe do a vlog on that. So those are the grass blocks. Let's try something more complicated, like a pig. The pig is kind of just like making two grass blocks and a little bit of really simple folding legs. It's really simple and it's not too bad if you treat it like you're making two grass blocks. This is pretty much exactly like making a grass block, except it connects to the head, the body. So it's a little bit different, so it's kind of making like most of a grass block, except the edge isn't there. It pretty much always actually is harder than it looks to make these, but if you just go slow and follow the instructions, it'll turn out really good. And we got these at Target. Target is selling a lot of Minecraft stuff now, which is really cool. So I it'll be available for this set and probably a, a lot of others at your local Target. So the tabs don't always fit in the slots. So you're always gonna need like a little tool like this. We have a little clay making tool, which is originally for making grooves and clay, but it works pretty well because you can just kind of poke them in and you'll be able to fit the little the tabs in again. 
Okay, so after a little bit of hard work, we finally got the pig. It looks a little bit derpy on the back because the legs don't fold, fold all the way around to stick in there. But everything else looks great. It looks great from every other angle but the back. So they're really amazing, but I would recommend having a front or side view if you want to show them to people because the back is just a little weird. So there's a whole lot more in the pack. We've only made a little bit of it. So I may do a follow-up vlog soon showing everything, but this is what we've made so far. We've made a cow, which is the biggest, which may make it the easiest since it's bigger and easier to work with. The ocelot, which I would say is the second hardest. The chicken, which is the hardest. And the pigs, which are easy, the second easiest. The yeah, and then the blocks, which are super easy, but they're not exactly part of the mobs. So these are the mobs we've made so far. They're all really cool, and they're very worth the effort, even though it might take a little while. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!